to you guys and I do apologize if you hear some noise in the background I'm sorry it's my kids playing some weird stuff on their games but anyway um it's been a while and I just wanted to apologize because of it and then I don't want to apologize because of it because <laughs> the reasoning of it is it's pretty important um I'll take mental health very serious um only because you know it can cause like so many things to happen and you really never know well i didn't really grieve my mom um when it happened because we were moving we showed exciting things like our new house that christmas i made that christmas important and um we had Aiden's surgery and then everything just bottled up into a little bottle and it got shoved down there. Um, a year ago, I was seeing a therapist as well. Um, that helped a little bit. Then it didn't help a little bit, so I was in the mix of everything of my feelings. And then um, I went off my diet. And so now you guys get to see a new diet journey. I'm going to be doing the same diet so you guys know what I'm eating what I'm drinking, how I lost weight and stuff like that without working out because I'm such a busy person and I'm going to be having so many things come up, but I wanted to get back at doing what I love the most is YouTubing and editing and filming and stuff like that, having all these memories. I miss all of it. Like it just, everything just let up, let up because we had that tragedy happen to our apartment and then we had a which I thought was a little cleared up and then it wasn't. And then it turned into like this guy that lived upstairs to us, um, was creeping on our kids and some other kids. I'll let those parents know they ended up moving as well. Um, I think everybody out of that building moved with kids. Um, but everything that I've done, I've led up to it and, it was very dramatic. So, having to be um, a role model and an inspirational person to my kids and not be so emotional and broken down and stuff like that is probably the hardest thing I have ever done. What's up? Mommy's filming. Okay, can we please go in there? Thank you. <laughs> go in there, please. Go in there. Go. Go in there. Okay, in a second, I'll get you something. Go. Go in there. Go poop. Okay, go do that. Go do it. Anyway, everything that led it up to all that, I just, I did such a great job. I just bottled everything up. So anyway, in the last six months, everything has come out. I've cried about it. I have deeply cried about it. Um, losing my mom was probably not the hardest thing I've ever been through. I know that's awful to say, but it's not. Um... Y'all know that going through this stuff with my son is probably the hardest thing. Like, I would go through all the tragedies I've ever been through just for him to not have went through all the tragic stuff that he's been through so far. And he's three. So, I mean, that's just, that's hard on me. But uh, losing my mom did something really terrible to me. And I 
can't explain exactly because I don't know exactly what it could be, but it has really torn me down to the point where I didn't want to take care of myself. I didn't want to talk about it. I was mean and I don't want to be this person anymore. So I figured because you guys have helped me out in the past, but I really need your help with even if it's like the simplest comments or anything like that. Um, I'm going to be posting, but I want you guys engaging and we're both engaging and stuff like that because that helps me. It helps me keep me motivated, want me to get up, edit, post, and all this. It keeps me up here and set it down, down to the floor. So it's just like, let's kind of work together. I mean, you guys have a big part in my channel. You know, y'all have been there for me for a long time. Uh, it's been six years now. It's going to be going on seven. And we're going to get this. We're going to. I will probably end up talking more about mental health. Um, what it's like for people with mental health and kids and work and having to do all of it and the routines. I'll do my morning routine. I'll do night routines. I'll do the routines where I get up in the middle of the night and make some tea. Started drinking tea now. Um, it's just crazy. It's crazy. So I will be posting some more for you guys and we'll see where it goes. Like, if y'all are struggling as well, y'all are not alone. You always have me to talk to. I'm great with talking with people about stuff like this. So, I mean, if you guys need some help as well, I'm here for you guys to talk to. So, it's a big, big, big journey way ahead of us. And we're going to get back to doing what we love the best. Because I went back on all of our videos and... The person I was, I want to become that person again because I was so happy. I went so down. But I know that so much stuff has happened before, I like after all that. So I know that it's a lot to do with that. But we're going to we're gonna stay strong. We're going to stay positive. And we're going to be the best that we can because we all need each other at this point where the economy is going and all this, we just need help. So, scratch out. Um, but I just want to come in here and make a short sweep and tell you guys that we will be back and continue with my weight loss because I'm going starting from scratch again. So, it's going to be one hell of a road. I'm not going to do that egg fast diet again only because I couldn't make it the full three days without my heart hurting. Um, I won't do that. So, we will get back to everything and you guys will get to see some more content of the kids and the content of the diet and mental health and being healthy and home stuff, cleaning stuff that y'all like to watch. I know y'all like to watch those cleaning videos, so I'll make some more of those. Um, just, I love you guys and y'all stay positive as well and let's enjoy the holidays.